Hey, what's up guys? Mark here with Rad Computers uh, to do an accessory unboxing for the HP Reverb G2. I'll be unboxing the VR Brother HP Reverb G2 Elite Strap, which is sold on Amazon right now for $43.99. This is a replacement strap for the HP Reverb G2 um, to give it like the little spinny knob that tightens, uh, just like the deluxe audio strap on the HTC um, Vive. So... A lot of people really don't like this top Velcro. I really didn't have that much of a problem with it, but um, I did miss the tensioning knob on the back of my uh, HTC Vive with the deluxe audio strap. So I ordered this after seeing it posted in a Facebook community and it was just released. So uh, I guess it was a pre-order and so my delivery just came in and I thought I'd unbox it. Here we go. All right, so I've actually already cut it open, um, just primarily to keep my address from being shown. But this is how it arrives. Fairly straightforward. Little bag, you can see the little tensioning knob here. And See if I can do this with one hand. I am on my floor in my VR room. Now, unfortunately, based on the Facebook comments that I was seeing, um, this accessory is only readily affordable in the US. Um, it seems like everywhere else the shipping is just kind of outrageous. So here it is, the strap. Now the material is, oh, what does that feel like? It feels like kind of like a rubber, uh, rubberized material. It's very smooth. Uh, it's the kind of material that you know would scratch if you took your fingernail to it. Um, I don't know, it kind of feels silky. I know I've felt this material before somewhere, I just can't, for the life of me, recall where it was. Um, not sure what this bottom strap is for here. Oh, okay. Okay, so this must be the top. And this must be the tensioner. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this installed real quick. This is supposed to help with the uh, with the weight because it is well, it is relatively lightweight. Um, I don't know how light it is compared to the original, but this is ridiculously light. There's also a padding here on the back side that is very nice. It's also held on with Velcro, so it does appear to be washable, uh, which is also very nice. I would say the quality is pretty solid. I mean, it's, it is a pretty strong, well-built device. I don't think it's going to break or anything. For the cost, it definitely feels premium um, without the premium price tag, which is very nice. So, okay, let's go ahead and get ready to take this out. So we need to remove the top strap. You can see I've already modded my Reverb G2 with... <laughs> A zip tie that was day one when I got it because I was on Reddit seeing all the posts about the clip breaking and all that stuff so I want to be proactive about it and put this on before I even tried the headset on. Uh, it looks like I will probably have to cut this off. Sorry, still trying to do this with one hand. Not the easiest thing in the world. I do apologize for the poor Cameron ship. All right. I want to take the clip off. Normally when I stream stuff like this, I do have a proper camera set up, but uh, yeah, 
I'm on my floor. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to disconnect it because I've got suspension rigging on my ceiling and disconnecting that is kind of a nightmare to get it all set back up again. So this is just gonna have to do for now. Uh, you need a small Phillips to remove these two screws. You also wanna be careful because when you do so, you are going to loosen and or drop off your speakers. So I've got my handy dandy El Cheapo. Oops, sorry about that. Despite it being cheap, it is definitely useful. No installation instructions on this. I think it's, it should be self-explanatory. You can see here, uh, you've got your two leads, one of which is gonna be positive and the other one's gonna be negative for your uh, speaker. This is nice that they are changeable. I've actually not taken these off yet. All right, so we've got the one side. Oh, where'd my, oh, it's still on there. Again, I apologize, poor lighting, poor camera ship. Don't lose the screws. forget which headset goes where. All right, after you've removed the two screws, this part should just start to slide out. Again, this is not the easiest thing in the world with only one hand available. Ah, that's my own fault. I didn't realize that the, uh, the Velcro straps went through this area. So keep, be aware that when you remove this, you are gonna have to take out these straps and they do not look like they're gonna be very fun to put back in. for a second, guys, sorry. Okay, so now that I know how to take one of them out, the easiest way to get this out isn't to pull it, it's actually to push it. So just push it in a little bit. There's gonna be a lip here on the very edge you can see this lip right here, that's gonna get stuck. So you wanna push this in just enough to get that lip through. And then when you do, there you go. Now it'll come through. And you can push and pull, which is what I was doing when I set my phone down, but there you go. You get the right idea. All right. It is gonna be a little tough to pull the whole thing out. Sorry, I'm gonna set my phone down again one more time. Okay. Sorry for that. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see my legs, but hey, you never know. <laughs> All right, so next we wanna put on the new backside. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you insert this into the sides. Insert. 
Hmm. Oh, look at that. They do provide you with, uh, at least a tool. No instructions, but a tool. So they do give you a screwdriver. I did not see that earlier. But again, no instructions. All right, now let me set my phone down one more time. See if I can figure this out. Okay. So it does fit into this socket, but it is, it is, I would say fairly snug. Um, at first it doesn't look like it's gonna fit. So, and it doesn't feel like it's gonna fit, but with the correct pressure, it will slide into place. Let me see if I can get this. There you go. You get a satisfying click, and you can see that the hole does align pretty well. Let's go ahead and put the two screws back um, through our speakers. So that's the left side. That's the right side. And be careful when you're doing this. You do want to make sure that your... Um, your two little electrodes here are connecting properly, otherwise you'll get audio skipping. It's definitely something that people have complained about on Facebook and Reddit, is that, especially with the left headset, that it was... Sorry, setting my phone down again so I can get this screwed in. Um, that the left headset, when it shipped, was definitely uh, not aligned correctly. So just make sure when you're putting this back together that you have the alignment correct. <clears throat> when you're putting it back on, it should be relatively flush. I mean, not relatively, but completely flush. And just make sure you have the sides correct. They are labeled, the speakers are individually. So you have your L, which is gonna be your left side. And then your R is gonna be your right side, which are already mounted. All right, so again, make sure you have these correct. Let me put my phone down so I can screw it back in. Now that it's back together, this is what it'll look like. And you want to take your top strap, which has the same, the same feel to it. It looks like this might have been hand cut because the, the strap isn't completely flat up top. Looks like somebody cut it with scissors. So maybe it's a handcrafted product. Anyway, you want to take this strap and it's supposed to go under, through the loop. Oh, my coffee is kicking in, I apologize. I do not typically drink coffee. All right, there you go. So under, over, through. Under, through, over. <laughs> oh, while I have this out, a note, if you're gonna have the custom faceplate made, 
Um, I did have one made, but my friend made it out of uh, blue per my request, just because I thought it would look cool from the outside. Um, I don't use it because the blue is too transparent and it just bleeds light through. It really takes away from the uh, experience. So if you have one of these made, <sighs> make sure you have it made in black. Um, if you're doing the FOV mod so that you can have a higher FOV. I personally tried it for a little bit and while the FOV was improved, my um, ability to detect the screen door effect kind of ruined it for me. So that plus the blue, I just didn't really see myself using it. I went back to this. Maybe I'll try it again with black, I don't know. All right, so here's the tensioner knob. You can see as you lefty loosey it, it does open up quite a bit. And then as you righty tidy it, satisfying click to show that it's closing. Seems to work. Let me try it on real quick. Oh shit, that is way better. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, where's my phone at? Okay, here I am in all my ugliness. Am I holding it up or down? Okay, perfect, yeah. So assuming, sorry, assuming you guys can see me, um, this is way better, just instantly better. It is so comfortable, I can't, I just can't. I haven't even tightened the top part. I know you're like, why is he shaking his head back and forth? But this is literally glued to my face, um, unlike with the Velcro straps where it was always a little loose. And because it's a mechanical tension, um, I don't think this is gonna go anywhere after a long cardio session of Beat Saber, Fit XR, or Fox VR, um, or any of the other cardio-based games. Synth Riders is pretty intensive too, with a lot of jerky movements. But man, this is awesome. This is exactly the way that I was hoping it would feel. And the quality is superb. So fantastic job to uh, VR Brother on this product. It is amazing. I definitely recommend this 10 out of 10 for the, for the price. If you have an HP Reverb G2 and this is affordable to you, it's a hundred thousand times worth its worth its cost. This will definitely make the HP Reverb G2 owners a lot happier with how their um, headset fits, and will make it easier to change between users if you have a multi-user family or multi-user household or apartment or whatever. Um, all right, guys, that's it. Mark with Rad Computers, computer experts that are totally rad.